right, Scooter T Outdoors back at you. It's November 27th and we're headed up north to the Wisconsin gun season. We got Tom back with us and a new Scooter T Outdoors pro staffer, Matt. Now Matt's not new to the game, he's been doing this for a while. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Matt? Well, he might be a little camera shy, but he's been hunting about, like I said, he's not new to the game. He's been hunting for about 12 years with a success rate of zero. So we're gonna do our best uh, trying to get Matt on a deer. We're gonna put him, uh, he's gonna be hunting in a blind with me where we uh, usually have a lot of, at least doe movement. And um, he's gonna get first shot. Well, we made it. Here's home for the next couple nights. Hello. How's buddy? Yeah. Time I had to go out and do some work. Okay, to put a blind up. We're all set up. Season opens tomorrow. We're gonna go into town. Some cars driving by. We're gonna go into town and get some, uh, go into town and get some burgers for dinner. We'll be heading out to the woods first thing in the morning. Here's our, here's our shooting range. We got uh, Tom's going to be at the far corner of the property on a finger out here that looks out over a tag alder marsh. We got another blind right in the, this tree line over here, just back in a little ways. And my blind, what Matt's going to be hunting with, is through the thick part of the woods, straight to the back, actually on the property line so we could shoot into the thick of it, into the thick stuff. So, hopefully we make it happen this year. Got the Jenny going. Hey, Jenny. Oh, Opening dude. day. The Orange Army is ready.
coming out. They're finally starting to move. Unless people are just shooting for the fun of it. I don't think a lot of people do that on opening day in Wisconsin, though. shop for about an hour, hour and a half, about an hour and a half. So we're gonna go down and cook some food. Probably rest for about an hour, warm up. And uh then we're gonna get right back out here. We got down for got down for an hour and a half to get some breakfast or lunch. Whatever we got down at eleven. It's twelve thirty. And there's a fresh pile of deer crap on the trail. I mean like it's steaming fresh. So did we do something wrong here? All that is from the black bear. We got trail cam picture them pictures of them climbing the stands. Well, it's the end of day one. Throughout the entire day, I think we heard 12 shots that we counted, except for the guy that shot six times. That would be uh, about 15. Times. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a so, uh, county. it's uh, not normal for up here. Usually you hear about 20, 30 shots in <clears throat> the first half hour of light, but we don't know what's going on this year. Tom had a doe all the way across the Mars, what do you say it's probably about 350, 350 yeah. 350 yards, but it was in the thick stuff, so he wasn't gonna risk wounding the deer. So I don't know. Hopefully we can get a good video out of this.
Just a tree grown out of a rock. <laughs> this is not Pine Tree Island. This is another cluster of pines on the edge of the marsh. Pine Tree Island's that way. Steps, 20 steps, stop for a minute. See what I hear. See what I see. A little still on to action. I'm hoping this produces a deer. Although it's gonna be no fun dragging it out of here. Well, I made my way back to the blind. I think it's time to climb down. I think we'll go get some, get some breakfast, lunch. I think the entire day we heard about five or six shots it was. It's not too good. I read somewhere that if you don't shoot a deer up here opening day, your odds of getting one drop drastically day by day. And yesterday there was not even a quarter of the amount of shots we usually hear so and they're up there people are up here the hotel or motel down the street is it's packed they got a place to hang your deer up front we drove past it yesterday last night there wasn't a single deer hanging there so, not a good year for me to decide to start filming hunts i guess we're going out for the last hunt of this trip it's only a two day trip. It's an end to our journey. We didn't get him this time. Uh. Matt says hi. And, uh, I don't know, go figure. Picked a good year to start recording hunts, didn't I? Well, it looks like the deer won this time. I'm gonna be headed back up after Thanksgiving, after we eat our dinner and everything. Me and my dad are gonna head back out and sit for another two days. I got a few theories on what happened, you know, why we didn't see anything. Um, I don't know if their theories are just excuses, but to have a season like this, it's just kind of unusual, you know, to, uh, Decide to, you know, especially I, I decide to start recording film uh, hunts and actually posting them on YouTube. And um, I'm just not getting the, the good content. So I'm trying to make the best out of the videos. I appreciate the people who actually watch the videos. Um, even though they're not that interesting. I promise I'm trying to get deer on film. I'm trying to get shots on film. I'm at the point where I'm almost not going to even post videos unless there's action involved in it um but then how many videos am i going to put out a year for hunting i guess it won't be too many so hopefully next year uh we can get on some different properties uh, minus the the rifle property that we own that property so it's not uh so it's not like we're just gonna get rid of it you know we're gonna stay up there 
I think we're going to wind up probably getting a skid loader and going out there in the winter and clearing some more trees, some more shooting lanes, and uh, trying to get ready to actually put some food plots in. Uh, probably about 90% of the shots we heard all came from the property uh, behind us, and the guys got about six or seven food plots in, um, and he owns quite a bit more acreage than we do. So we're gonna go back up. I'm hoping that we get some awesome video and have a good time. And uh, either way, this trip, I had a real good time. I mean, we look forward to it all year. And the things that you think about is, you know, the sitting up there, at, you know, just hanging out with your buddies at night, you know, cooking coffee and a percolator, everything about it. It's just, it's just a just a good experience. It's just things you'll remember, um, and it's that one. If you think about it, it's the one piece of that whole trip. Y you have you know ten, fifteen different things you think about. One going up there about just things you remember, and then there's that you know things that make it a good time, and then there's that one piece that's missing. That changes the whole outcome of the of the whole trip, and that's obviously the the lack of deer. So, like I said, either way, I enjoyed it. So, wish us luck. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we uh, get out and get some get on some deer. Uh, what's that? In two days. All right. Catch you next time.